Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is a lecture number seven, last lecture of unit number one. So, in previous lecture, we have studied a lot about the kidney function structure. In this lecture, we will discuss some of the disorder of the kidney, uh, kidney stone and kidney failure. So, first of all, kidney stone. That what is kidney stone? Uh, if kidney do not perform its function of filtration, so the salts they are accumulated inside the kidney. You can see here in this diagram. So when these salts are stuck together with each other, so they become solidified. And when they solidified, then it is called kidney stone. You can see here the, in this diagram, this is the original kidney stones and these are also kidney stones in different areas. Now the kidney stones, they are, are, are categorized into two on the basis of size. Some kidney stone, they are small and other kidney stones, they are large. So what are the treatment for small kidney stones? Small kidney stones can easily be removed through pressure of water. So if the kidney stone are small, uh, small, so you are advised to take more and more water. So a pressure will be created in the form of urine and it will expel the kidney stone. You can see here in this diagram, these stones are small and this kidney stone is passing through uh, urinary bladder, then it will come to the uh, uh, sorry, it is in the ureter and uh, then it will be come to into the urinary bladder and finally it will be drained out through urethra. Other kind of stones, they are large, so they can easily cannot pass through the ureter and urethra etc. Uh, so first of all, these stones, they are broken down into smaller stones, smaller pieces and that is a technique that is called lithotrespy. In this technique, the stones are broken down into smaller pieces through waves, ultrasonic or X-ray waves. You can see here in this diagram. So these ultrasonic waves, they are concentrated on the kidney and the stones are converted into smaller pieces. Then it is drained in the form of smaller pieces in the form of sand or smaller stones in the urine. Now come toward the renal failure. What is renal failure? If the kidney do not perform its function completely or partially, so we say the kidney are failed and this is called renal failure. And what are the causes of renal failure? Three main causes. There are a lot of causes but three causes that is endless in your book. One is diabetes, another is infection if the kidney is infected by some uh, virus or bacteria and the third one is hypertension. What is hypertension? Hypertension is increased blood pressure. If the, the blood pressure is uh, increased, then normal blood pressure from prolonged period of time, this condition is called hypertension. So hypertension can also cause renal failure. Now what is the treatment for renal failure? So the, if the kidney is not uh, working properly and they are going to be failed, so then there is a treatment for renal failure is dialysis. Dialysis, what is dialysis? Dialysis is the artificial cleaning of blood through a machine called dialyzer. You can see here in this diagram, this is a patient and this is a dialyzer machine. A catheter is inserted inside the artery and the blood date come into that catheter and then it is circulated in a tube and that tube is dipped in a solution that is called dialysing solution. So when this blood that circulate in that tube in this way, so the waste material they are extracted by the solution. And when blood comes at the, the end point, so it is filter and the filter blood is then inserted through a vein uh, in the inside the body of the patient. So this is a simple uh, method of the dialysis uh, process. And if the kidney is totally filled and the dialysis 
is not working then the another last option is the kidney transplant in this kidney transplant a healthy person kidney that is taken from healthy person to the patient and in the patient it is grafted but uh, the, uh, it is necessary that the patient or the donor sorry the donor who donate the kidney to a patient that will be a blood relative otherwise there will be tissue rejection and the grafting that will be not succeeded so in this diagram you can see here so this is the donor and this is the patient and this kidney is grafted below the original kidney so this is kidney transplant and this is the end of unit number 1 now come toward the homework abhi hum homework pe aate hain to aapne book ka jo जो एक्सरसाइज है आपने वो अटैम्प्ट करना है वो कौन कौन से क्वेश्चन आपने अटैम्प्ट करने हैं अभी मैं आपको बताने वाला हूँ ये है कि आपके बुक का जो एक्सरसाइज का फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स हैं सही है ये फाइव फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स आपने सारे लेक्चर हुए उसको गौर से आपने सुनना है ठीक है उसको समझना है उसको रटा नहीं करना है फिर इन फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स को आपने इधर इसको कंप्लीट करना है और आपका जो नोटबुक है इस वेकेशन का तो आपने उसमें लिखना है फिर ये सेकंड क्वेश्चन जो है एमसीक्यूज है इस एमसीक्यूज को भी आपने अटेम्प्ट करने हैं और उसको नोटबुक में लिखने हैं और लास्ट में जो है वो शॉर्ट क्वेश्चंस है ये शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन भी आपने अपने नोटबुक में लिखने हैं लेकिन कीप इन माइंड इसमें कुछ शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन इस तरह है कि उधर आपको बुक में उधर नहीं मिलेंगे ठीक है लेकिन लेक्चर को आपने गौर से सुनना है लेक्चर में मैंने उनको डिस्कस कर लिया है सो दिस वाज द एंड ऑफ यूनिट नंबर वन थैंक यू